ladies and gentlemen, there have been reported cases of the measles and it's being reported as an outbreak, not only in the UK, but also here in the US. So they're saying this is definitely a wake up call for these two locations. Do y'all know the UK and the US actually rose together? Yeah, they did. So let's get to it. The United Kingdom is facing a measles outbreak. And while cases have also popped up in the US in recent weeks, leading health authorities on both sides of the pond to issue urgent warnings. So this outbreak, which was declared eliminated in the U.S. around 2000, is a wake-up call. And the importance of getting this out through personal and public health announcements. So the U.K. also recently re-achieved measles elimination status in 2021 after having lost the distinction in 2018. Okay, so, you know, they, they're just talking about the inoculation that they already have, which is effective. So the Center for Disease Control and Prevention on Thursday advised health care providers to be on alert for potential symptoms of the measles, which includes a rash, a cough, sore or swollen eyes, flu-like symptoms. Providers should also be aware of patients who have been traveling abroad. So they're saying the measles cases often originate from U.S. residents who travel internationally and then transmit the disease to people who are not, you know, inoculated. This is according to the CDC's latest alert. The increased number of measles seen in recent weeks is reflective of a rise in global measles cases and a growing global threat from the disease. In the UK, they said they have uh, probable cases that they're looking at right now. And they have some cases that are confirmed. And they have been detecting the cases since this past October. All right. And they said the majority of it that they're seeing is in the city of Birmingham. Since December, the CDC received notice of cases here in the U.S. Seven they have noted were imported by international travelers. The states have reported measles cases in Delaware, Georgia, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Washington state. Wow. And it's amazing how we haven't heard about this until now. So uh, Jenny Harries, chief executive of the UK Health Security Agency, recently warned the infections in her country would continue to spread without urgent action. Immediate action is needed to boost MMR uptake across communities where, you know, they said they have areas over there that they're aware where it's a low amount of people that have been inoculated. That's what, that's all they're saying. So in the U.S. and the U.K. MMR, which is measles, mumps, and rubella, remain high, but have fallen away from the ideal 95% rate which is the target country's aim to reach by 2023, as well as the coverage the World Health Organization recommends to prevent any measles outbreaks. So MMR rates in the U.S. have seen a slight decline in recent years, reaching 95% among kindergartners. 
during the 2022-2023 school year, the highest. So we've started to lose the herd immunity, all right? This is what a physician said, and they are from the American Academy of Pediatrics. This is what they told The Hill. So you really need to have 95% of the population with the inoculation in order to have a good herd immunity for measles. The number is less for other organisms, but the measles is so contagious, you really have to have such a high number. Like many health issues occurring in the world today, experts see a link between the measles outbreak and the recent pandemic. Generally, we certainly saw a real slide in provisions of essential health services and childhood vaccinations. But you know what, y'all? I believe a lot of these immigrants are coming across the border with this as well. Now, they're saying international travel, but they're coming from countries that may not have a rate as good as the United States. And because that has happened before, if you go back and look at some of the, the years ago when the immigrants were coming in, they were saying they were bringing um, things in here that were eradicated here in the U.S. And it was making a comeback because of that. So I notice in the article, it talks about international travel, but it doesn't say anything about these immigrants moving across the border and they could possibly be bringing it in as well. So while measles is still considered endemic in countries like Yemen and India, it, they said, you know, high income countries like the US and UK should not see any outbreaks, but they are. So they're saying also disinformation is likely a contributing fract, uh, factor, waning immunizations. And, you know, they said it's a lot of people falling victim that really should not be falling victim to measles at all. So, ladies and gentlemen, mm, mm, mm. aren't these like first world countries and look at what's happening, but we shall see. You know, I had no idea that this was even going on and, you know, mainstream news, you know, anything they don't succeed in, they don't want you to know about. That's how it is in this country. So y'all just be careful out here because we are in those times of disease and pestilence, which will be on the rise. And, you know, in the age of Aquarius, everything's going to shift and it's going to be a pretty fast shift, you know, contrary to what some people believe, you know, you have a class of people that are trying to stay in power, but they really shouldn't be in power anymore. And it's going to change. So don't expect them to not go kicking and screaming because they will. But in the meantime, all this stuff is happening. And they're noting that, you know, especially for children, because unfortunately, you, if you send your children to school, they're going to be exposed to a lot of people. And you already see the stories out here that the immigrant children are already in these classrooms across America. I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just saying. So they're saying that, you know, there's always that risk of infection. So please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.